to be here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're starting another day of work here with uh, Ole. Hey, <laughs> look at this car he rolls it on. It's the first time we're seeing a nice like coupe over here on Gabriola Island. <laughs> Get a little fancy with it. Anyways, while we wait for this deck to finish its uh, curing process, it's nice and stiff, but it's not quite ready to be sanded yet. Um, we're gonna get some more sanding done. I'm gonna put uh, Olay to it and also, I'm going to start building a little bit more of my cabinetry in the galley. So, two jobs, two guys, we'll get it done. Alright, well I didn't get much filming of the work we're doing, but you're doing good work. You got a lot of sanding done. I've uh, started fleshing this guy out. This cabinetry is kind of flushed out and I'm laying in beads of epoxy as I'm building it in. So it's really sturdy, really strong. We're going to make up a little bit of lunch. We're not going to eat it here. I want to show them a little bit more of the island. We're going to head to a little North Island, Let's get a beautiful spot, eat our tasty burritos. Road out here. And if you can see that right there, that little blue box, that's our lunch. The amount of times I do this not on camera is absolutely embarrassing. I don't film it most of the time because I'm freaking pissed. You know, it's like you leave something in your car, you leave something in the house. Oh, I'll just turn around. I'll just walk back like three feet, you know? It'd take me two minutes tops to go find something. You know, if you have a big house and you lose things all the time, maybe it might take you 15. But I got a row. I gotta drag a boat across the beach, row back, and then there's no guarantee I'll even find whatever I've forgotten because I lose things like crazy. <laughs> ah! Proof. All right, so I picked up the bag. Uh, feel kind of dumb, but that's okay. We're gonna go check out the Melispina Galleries. Uh, we've been here once with uh, Melly way back, but we're gonna do it with Ole, and we're gonna have ourselves a burrito lunch. Nights like these feel so long When you switch the lights off Just to turn them back on The cord you won't plug Is that what you meant by love? I should explain a little bit about Oi from what I can gather. Guys, uh, not quite all there. It broke his damn leg, works his ass off, and then still comes all the way out here, drives all the way from Edmonton to Gabriola, rides two ferries, just so he can sand on a boat. <laughs> not, quite, uh, not quite all there, are you? I, mean, the I like the adventures. Into the unknown. Well, get used to the guy, because he'll be back. He's here for a while, and then he'll be back later on as we're sailing around. He got a lot of ambition to come out and sail with us. I'm excited to have him. All right, back on the boat. Um, Ole is sanding some more, and I'm gonna start building some wiring harnesses for my batteries. Uh, currently, I'm only running two of my nine batteries, and it's permanently wired in, but it's kind of sloppy. So we're gonna clean it up and do some slightly better stuff. I've got my BMSs on order, and we started getting some of our disconnect breakers. So we're gonna connect these up, and we're gonna use them to individually connect each of the nine batteries to the main battery bank. So making up some wires for these on 8 gauge marine gable.
Okay. All right, so because I'm running lithium, the idea is compartmentalization. Each one of these battery banks are 12 cells in series times two in parallel. So it's 12S, 2P. Um, and then in total, I have nine of them. So technically the whole bank will operate as if it was a 12S, 18P. Um, but each one of these separate little battery banks is gonna have a PCB board that uh, BMS it's called a battery monitoring system and I make sure that each cell is balanced and that we don't have any issues of overcharging that can result in fire and damage um, it shuts down the battery bank if there's any issues the each one of the positive outlets is gonna have a breaker on it so that you can manually disconnect by the press of a button every single separate battery um, yeah and basically I'm putting a lot of breakers all over the place because this electrical system is large and there is a lot of amps happening back and forth. I want to make sure I can disconnect everything without having to unplug wires because that takes too long. You know, damage can be done in that time. So pressing a button pops that breaker and that's what I need. A breaker and a switch all in one. I like that. I'm going to pull up another battery and we'll do another one up. Oh, no, I like it. Um... It's been a good couple of days so far with Olay. It's been working hard. We've been working hard. And we've seen a lot of the island. We've seen a lot of good stuff, I think. And I want to take this time to kind of extend the invitation out to you guys. If you're interested in coming to help us build, um, I can guarantee you'll be well fed. I can guarantee a working head. And, uh, you know, a, a bed, nice bed to crash in that you'll sleep well in for sure. But uh, above and beyond that, well, we'll have to build it ourselves. So hit me up in the description. I've got an email attached to my channel too. It's better to reach me on the email because I lose comments all the time. But if you are interested, you can come out here and stay as long as you want in Dagnan Bay. And of course, anyone who's helping is crew for life. So you can come out on the boat anytime you want after that. I'll have you out anytime you can come. Oh, but for us, we're gonna admire the sunset and then we're gonna go hang out with Mike, I think. See what Mike's up to. He's got a new, uh, he's got a new love in his life. I want to introduce you to her. She's really pretty. So who's, uh, who's that, uh, this guy like the best? He likes the best of her. <laughs> As soon as we step onto any other boat, Ole always puts his life jacket on. Because he's just, he's so scared. Captain, Captain Mike here is talking the good bullshit. Yeah, no, Ole, we're not any good stuff. Guilty, guilty, guilty. He's been I'm gonna get hypothermia for jumping in this water right now. Well, 45 seconds and you're no. hypothermia. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna use the exact wording argument now. <laughs> you think Chambo jump in with you? He's gonna bark. Huh? Start kicking in. Oh, the language gets weaker by the second. It's like a polar dip, right? Polar dip. It was less than 45 seconds, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was pretty cool. <laughs> How can we yeah, jump you, on the boat? You taught him. You're a bad, you're a bad influence. It's not that cold. Feels good though, eh? Young blood. How about your turn now? Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, my little theatrics uh, took up a bit too much time, <laughs> and we're not—we don't have enough time to show you uh, Mike's new girlfriend. So we'll have to introduce you guys next time. For now, we're stealing the Kodiak battery pack, 1,100 watt hours, 62 pounds of thrust, roughly 500 watts of uh, DC electric goodness, and we're going over to Valdez Island. Every 
Welcome to Valdez Island. We don't have a lot of time because the sun is setting, but we're gonna explore a little bit and see this beautiful and kind of remote island. Let's go check it out. Tattooed foot was my type of art Did I ever tell you that? The subway train became my beating heart Your room became my appetite We didn't know it then, but we were Yeah, they are racing down that old dirt road, I guess. Got in a bit of a wreck and then no one bothered to take them off. They stay there forever. Detail work. Oh no, never mind. Pump in down. Cool. It's heavy, man. Heavy steel. Oh, it's a pretty good run. We uh, got out to the island, explored a little bit. Uh, we're kind of limited in range because Ole did break his leg before he got out here, so. Um, this thing burns, like I said, about 500 watts, and I've got about 1,100 watt hours of storage. So if you do the math, just over two hours of trolling this motor. Seemed to be going two miles an hour, two, or two knots probably, two or three miles an hour, something like that. Somewhere in that range. It's not fast. It's a hell of a lot faster than rowing, and uh, it's comfortable. And there's seals watching us in every corner. Look at that guy. He's watching us. Anyways guys, that's it from us tonight. We are going to uh, crash now and we'll get back to it tomorrow. It's been a pleasure.